Welcome to the Stateless Code video. And in this video, we're going to install Node.js on a brand new installation of Ubuntu 24.04. Uh, so uh, we're going to use Node Version Manager or NVM in order to facilitate this. If we go and look at this new installation, if I do Node-V here, uh, it will say that Node isn't installed and suggest that you use um, aptitude which is the package manager for uh, Ubuntu to install it uh, we're going to take a look at the download section here in node.js's website itself and it gives you the instructions um, to use node v version manager or NVM and the reason why we're doing this is um, if you install via your normal package manager and this is common for programming languages, uh, whether it's JavaScript or Ruby or whatever, that not all of your projects that you're working with are going to have the same version of the programming language at all times. You just, maybe for whatever reason, you're dealing with something legacy uh, and you don't really want to go through the effort to move it to the newest version of the language yet. Uh, but you have projects that are new that you want to use on the language. So this lets you um, deal with that. So um, NVM has, this is its Git, GitHub here. It gives you instructions in terms of how to use it, how to um, set colors, bash completion, etc. So we're going to use this. This is a brand new kind of minimal install of Ubuntu, so it might not have curl. We'll give it a shot here in the in the terminal. So we'll try this. And we do not have curl. I'll use the, uh, the apt pass package manager here. probably run a little faster if you weren't on a virtual machine. So I'm going to uh, just hit the up key twice to get back to that command I just pasted in. And it gives some post install instructions. All right, so I'll just close and reopen my terminal. Use control alt T open a new terminal, make it big again. Now we'll, we've got NVM installed and what we're going to do is we're going to install uh, node 18, 20, and 22. So node 20 is the active long-term support version of node 18 is the previous one, and then 22 will be the, the next long-term support releases, releases here. Um, so you can see we're in May of 2024 right now. So uh, Node.js is the current version of Node, but is not yet the active long-term support version of node so if you're looking for kind of production long-term support uh, 20 is the version you want to go with so we'll just use nvm install 18 it matches the checksums make sure that your thing isn't nothing's been compromised and now I can do node-v, it'll give me 18.20.2. NPM will give me 10.5.0. I'll do the same thing for 20. Okay. 
and now you can see it's using 20. We'll also install 22. And you can see back up here, if we scroll up, uh, creating default alias, default is 18. So if we were to node v, v here, um, so right now we're using 22. If I close and reopen this terminal, what do you think is going to be the version of node that we'll get when we do node-v? That is correct. It's 18. So that was what's set as the all, as the alias. Um, if you want to switch between them, you can do nvm use 22. Now we're using node 22. And uh, since 20 is the current LTS version, what I want to do is nvm alias default 20. Now exit out, go back into my terminal again. Node dash V is 20. NPM dash V is 20. Uh, so now you've got Node.js installed, you've got a diff couple different versions of it. You can now like NPM install global, uh, whatever global packages you use. Uh, we'll kind of stop there for this video and um, we'll have other things that involve Node like setting up a Salesforce development environment uh, and other things here and there. Uh, but that kind of gets us to the very basics of how to get Node installed and get to the version that you want in Ubuntu 24.04. Thanks for watching. Ruby on Rails 7 is out. Code along on a guided journey through the Rails 7 Getting Started Guide and beyond with test-driven development. There has never been a better time to learn Ruby on Rails. Hit the ground running with the newest version. Go to statelesscode.com slash getting started with Rails 7 to level up. Thanks for watching this Stateless Codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding, and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.